Let's talk today about the fundamentals of cloud computing. What exactly is it? Cloud computing is a model for allowing convenient, on demand access from anywhere to a shared pool of computing resources. These can include servers, storage, networking, applications, and services that can be rapidly and easily provisioned and released. The cloud model Includes five essential characteristics. First, on demand self service. This allows users to quickly and automatically get access to the IT resources that they want without requiring any additional human interaction. Second, broad network access. This is the ability to access a service from any standard device that's connected to the network, including PCs, laptops, mobile phones. Or tablets. Third, resource pooling. Compute, networking, and storage are pooled and shared across multiple customers. Fourth, rapid elasticity. This allows you to quickly scale or shrink the capabilities of your cloud to match the level of user demand. And fifth, metering. This tracks and controls the level of resource usage or the cost of that usage. Customers generally choose one of three options for their cloud deployments either public, private, or hybrid cloud. A private cloud is provisioned for the exclusive use of a single organization. The infrastructure is usually owned, managed, and operated by the organization within its own firewall. A public cloud infrastructure is open for use by the general public. This type of cloud is owned, managed, and operated by a cloud service provider and runs on the provider's premises. A hybrid cloud allows a user to access both private and public cloud resources from a single management environment. In addition, there are three distinct types of IT services available today through public, private, and hybrid clouds. The first is Software as a Service, or SaaS. SaaS allows users to access an application without having to manage or control the underlying cloud infrastructure. Examples of SaaS are Gmail or Salesforce.com. The second is Platform as a Service or PaaS. Platform as a Service gives users access to a software development environment to allow them to create their own cloud applications using programming languages, libraries, services, and tools. The user has control over these applications without having to manage or control the underlying cloud infrastructure. An example of PaaS is Cloud Foundry. The third cloud service, and the one that's most widely viewed as a cloud, is Infrastructure as a Service, or IaaS. An Infrastructure as a Service cloud allows a user to quickly and easily provision full computing resources, including processing. Storage and networks without the user having to manage or control the underlying cloud infrastructure. An example of a private cloud infrastructure as a service is SUSE OpenStack Cloud. Most data centers today are highly virtualized, but it can still take one or two days, maybe even a week, to provision a virtual machine, and even longer to get the necessary authorization. Public infrastructure as a service cloud offerings, like Amazon and others, grew rapidly because of this need for on demand computing resources that internal IT departments weren't capable of providing quickly enough. The cloud service provider offered a solution where any individual or company could provision a server themselves when they needed it, run it for as long as they needed it, and then shut it down. They pay the cloud service provider an ongoing operational cost for only the computing resources that they need. Using a public cloud is often seen as a good way to get access to these resources for a short period of time. A private cloud infrastructure as a service extends the benefits of the public cloud to your company's own data center. It can help you to respond faster to changing business and customer demands and lower costs. By introducing more automation and by improving the efficiency of your IT environment. Because a private cloud is inside your organization's firewall, 
It also gives you better control of data security and helps ensure compliance with regulations. Whether deploying workloads in a public infrastructure as a service environment, in a private one, or in both, enterprises have the ability to develop a more flexible and agile infrastructure that better aligns with the needs of the business while reducing costs. Contact SUSE to understand how we can help an organization enjoy the benefits of cloud computing. 